Are you having issues when it comes to live streaming online? Well, the culprit could be your internet speed. And even though your internet service provider tells you you're gonna have up to a certain level of speed for your online use, sometimes the reality is completely different. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in today's video, so make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where you'll learn how to stream like a pro with technology you should know. Live streaming online is not as easy as it should be, but we're gonna hopefully help you demystify some of that process in today's video especially. But before we break into things, I wanna let you know if you stick around to the end and you are new to online streaming, we're going to equip you with an invaluable resource to get you started live streaming right away. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned how your internet service provider isn't completely upfront with you. Yes, they're gonna say you're gonna have up to this level of internet service, but the reality is that isn't always true. So what we're going to do today is equip you with an invaluable tool that you can use to find out exactly what you're getting, and hopefully you can help cross-reference that with the service you're supposed to be getting, and of course, adjusting and dialing in your live streaming settings accordingly. Before you get all freaked out, I want to let you know that Walt's got you covered here because it's just going to take literally about a minute of time to figure out what your internet service provider is actually providing you so that way you can get over online and live streaming in no time. So take it away, Walt. Okay, to do a speed test, it's very easy. First thing we want to do is we want to open up a browser. It doesn't matter whether it's Google Chrome or Mozilla, and we're going to type in internet speed test. Now, doesn't really matter which brand you use. They're all free. The first three are usually good to go with. I'm using the Okala. I think that's how you pronounce it. We're going to hit go. And now what we're looking for is we are looking for those download and upload speeds. Now, it's always great to have a lot of download speed. But now as a live streamer, we are more concerned with that upload speed. And what's that? why is that important to us is because that is how fast we are able to send information to the server, whether it be your Twitch server or YouTube server or Mixer or Facebook Live. So usually the magic number I'm looking for is a minimum of six megabits per second or 6,000 kilobits per second. Now, as you see here, we have a ping of 27. We have a download uh, 51.15 megabits per second. And there's our upload at 8.18. Now it's important to do this many times during the day. If you want a better idea on where to start when it comes to live streaming online, you make sure that you download our live streaming toolkit over at livestreamingtech.site slash toolkit. Also, now that you know how to dial in your internet settings, we want to show you exactly how to do it through Streamlabs OBS. In fact, I am going to send you right over to this next video so you can take a look at it and get started right away. Now that we've covered bit rates, let's go ahead and apply that knowledge to Streamlabs OBS. First thing you need to do is log in to the Twitch platform through Streamlabs.